Okay, we are here doing our blood pregnancy test experiment. It's going to be lots of fun. Yeah. And I have my lovely assistant. And we are using a man because since we are trying to conceive, um, there is a possibility of getting an actual positive. And since we are testing for false positives, we need somebody that we know for sure is not pregnant. So... And um, we're also going to be testing his urine because of the um, the thought or what is it called? Not a thought, but like proof or whatever. Something like that. Something like that. That um, a man with prostate cancer can get a positive pregnancy test. So we're going to test his urine also just to make sure that he doesn't get a positive pregnancy test with that. So first I'm going to show our list of, um, I don't know if I can pull this up high enough, of our uh, equipment. We have three pregnancy tests. One will be for urine, one will be for one blood experiment that we want to do, or that I want to do, and the other one will be for a different experiment we I want to do. Um, I have two cups here. One has bottled water, and I'm using bottled water because I don't want to risk any contaminants from tap water. I have an empty cup for collecting urine. I have this little test tube thing, a uh, holder, and two test tubes um, to try the two different uh, blood experiments. And uh, this actually came from a spy kit from my sister-in-law. We have some rubbing alcohol for sterilizing, some string. A, um, this is the Lancet kit or um, pen that I had from when I was pregnant with Timothy and had gestational diabetes. There is a fresh needle in there. Um, a um, eyedropper, scissors for cutting the string, and cotton balls for sterilizing, and a band-aid to band-aid him up when we're done. So I'm going to hand this to him. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to hold that. Hold it, you can hold it with one hand, this one, so you don't, no, you, you can't hold it with that one, you're going to cover the thing, okay. And then I need your hand. Oh, shit. We're going to make sure that we get your hand. What? In the shot. we got to get your hand in the shot. Okay. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to kind of squeeze and kind of get blood flowing to this finger. Try to keep the camera on it so I don't have to watch both. You get blood running to his finger. It's not how you massage it. <laughs> Don't say crap like that for the video. <laughs> Ignore him. Alright. I'm going to do that. Alright, then I'm going to take a cotton ball. Get some alcohol. And, oops. I just spilled a little. That's okay. No. Okay. And clean it up, let it dry while it's drying, and we both washed our hands beforehand. We both just washed our hands. So, all right, now I want to get one of my test tubes ready to go. It doesn't hurt. I see you like laughing and huffing and stuff. It doesn't hurt. He's afraid it's going to hurt to poke his finger. Okay, let's see. There we go, we get a pretty decent flow going here. I tried to do an experiment with blood the other day, not related to pregnancy tests, and if I really got to go in, I, I eventually got it where it was virtually squirting, which was pretty neat. And I'm hoping that if I do that with him, that it'll start squirting. Also, which would make this much easier. I wish this had a hard, uh, sharper edge on it. Not like sharp, like cutting sharp, but like... Okay, yeah. Like, more like... More like it'll, you know, scoop better. So this is generally what we're going to do. I'm going to pause the video now and keep working on collecting blood. And once I collect enough, then uh, I'll come back. All right. Okay, so the... Uh, Slight issue that we have is that he's queasy, apparently now, 
and uh, so I was only able to get a little bit of blood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, like a, a combo of what I, what the test I was going to try to do because my first test was going to be to try and get enough whole blood to use a string to spin it and get serum, just serum. And um, the other test that I've read about is you take like you take a little bit of blood then you add like I don't get, I don't know like five times the amount of blood that you have you add that much in water. So what I did was I took the blood I was able to get and then I added three of these dropperfuls of um, the wa the bottled water. And so what I'm going to do is because the three dropperfuls was not five times what was in there. Um, you can actually see there's a there's some clots in there actually. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get here hold this. All right, now look at keep what I'm doing. I'm gonna take some of this string and cut it, and um, make sure this lid's on real good. Now these lids hold really tight on this, so I'm going to tie this on here like so. The other way, make sure this knot gets on here really, really tight. Over, under, under, over. I'm gonna trim that so that doesn't kind of throw the weight off some. And then we'll take it like this, and then however long it takes, I suppose, I'm just gonna spin it like this. So but for right now, we're going to turn the camera off and keep spinning it like this. I, I, if I can get him to take turns with me, then we'll take turns until um, it appears that all of the red blood cells settle to the bottom of the test tube. If you can press the stop now. All right, so we got sick of trying to swing the thing on our own. So we, this is a diabolical contraption trying to make our own medical centrifuge <laughs> so we got the test tube on our little fan that we keep in our room we took the cover off I've got it taped on there and I'm going to turn it on hopefully it doesn't oh yeah it's gonna wobble real bad you think that that's gonna hurt it any if we can figure out some way to all right, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so this is Thomas's urine test. Obviously negative. So I got it spun as much as I can. So I've got tweezers and from what I heard, you dip it until you start to see the control line. Okay, starting to see the control line, so taking it out. And I'm going to let this process, and then I will come back. All right, so this is what we ended up with. This was uh, Thomas's, and then I actually did one for me with blood. And um, the Thomas's looks positive. Now, what I ended up doing was I dipped them in water in an attempt to flush all the uh, red blood cells out and this is where I ended up at with his and then now mine looks perfectly clear but I'm thinking what happened was I, I, I added way more water to mine than I had his and so everything cleared out a lot easier than his did so 
basically, in my opinion, don't use blood because it's too confusing. Because I mean, it. I mean, there could be a potential that I'm getting a false negative on mine because it was too watered down, and then obviously Thomas's is getting a false positive. And uh, see, this was his with urine, and if you look at it, his is so negative that the um, line where the test line is supposed to be is stark white, which is really weird. But um, so yeah, I, I mean, unless you're you are a doctor or you work for a lab and you have all the proper tools and everything to try and obtain just serum, I just just stick to using <laughs> using urine like you're supposed to with these because they just don't work with blood they they really don't so yeah i um i would just stick with the using them according to the manufacturer's recommendations all right bye